Arbok is, well, terrible, but its design is really cool. Welcome to my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle series, where I take generally bad Pokemon and make them shine. Today's spotlight is on Arbok, the Generation 1 Cobra Pokemon. With the loaded dice item making multi-hit moves always hit at least 4 times, paired with the multi-hit move scale shot which lowers the user's defense but raises their speed, and then use coil to raise our attack, defense, and accuracy, this thing can snowball out of control real quick. So with all that being said, let's jump into the first game. Okay, Andy has brought a pretty cool sun team with the Leafeon and Typhlosion taking advantage of Ninetales Sun, uh, and Pom's there as well with Swampert and Galvantula, pretty cool stuff. Um, so uh, I think a strong lead here would be Ogapon. We do have the Sturdy, so we can just Ivy Cudgel whatever we want on there, and um, we can definitely scare that Swampert out even though we only have Trailblaze. Um, so I think Ogapon is a good lead here, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, as for Arbok, I'm hoping it can do some work here if we get a good chance to set up on something. Maybe like the Galvantula, if the Galvantula wants to electrify us, we can just tear a dragon and get a coil up. And then scale shot away, so let's see how it goes. And the battle begins, good luck, have fun, Andy. So they're going to lead off with Ambifiddle, <laughs> the Ambibomb. As I lead off with my um, Ivy Cudgel spamming Ogapon, which is absolutely amazing for us. Uh, so obviously I'm going to go straight for the Ivy Cudgel because they're obviously probably going to fake out, but more than likely going to be U-turn. They do go for the fake out first and foremost, which is going to do a nice little bit of chip. Uh, now, we do flinch, which is unfortunate. Well, not really, because yeah, you always flinch on fake out, but let's go for an Ivy Cudgel again. We should um, be able to take a U-turn. We actually have speed. I forgot Ampipon wasn't as fast as I thought it was. Um, as the Ampipon goes down, which is fantastic in one clean hit. Absolutely amazing. That's a frail Ampipon right there. They clearly thought they would outspeed us, but obviously that is not the case. Vulnona comes in. Is that going to be the Typhlosion? It's the Ninetales. The Ninetales comes in, which is interesting. So they're either going to switch out into Swampert here, or they're going to Terra, one of the two. Um, I definitely don't want to stay in, that's for sure. I think Heatran is my best switch, so that's what I'm going to do. So we withdraw Ogapon. I'm not getting hit by a Choice Scarf Ninetales or something like daft like that, you know? So I'm going to go into Heatran. I'm just going to play it safe. Uh, Heatran can definitely take a hit from this thing. They go for a Willow. That's definitely would have crippled my ogre pond but i think we would have taken out they didn't tear or anything so uh, now i'm going to go for a taunt just to stop it in its tracks they withdraw probably going into the swampert now which is fair uh swampex the reliable partner comes in that's gonna be the swampert right yeah swampert comes in we get a nice taunt off which is always nice stops it from going for uh, stealth rocks and stuff um so now we can just go for a willow if we want to so i'm gonna go for a willow now i think we, we do hit the willow which is nice so no bad hacks so far as uh, the Willow is crippling, the Swampert is going to be really clutch for us. So, um, they go for a Earthquake, which should not take us out because of the burn, right? Yeah, we live that. We live that. Um, but we do get some leftovers recovery as well, which is really nice. So let's see how this plays out. Let's go into... Oh, I'm looking at the team and Arbog does really well. So well. Um, right. Not against Swampert, we're not. Um, I might just go ahead and switch out. So they're going for an Earthquake again. We should go Great Tusk. We should always go Great Tusk here. And um, if we weaken it enough, we can go into Arbok, Intimidate, and then go from there. So Tuscany comes in. Protosynthesis is going to boost our probably defense, right? Yeah, defense was heightened, so we're going to eat up this Earthquake. They go for a flip turn, that's fine. Does no damage. And it gives them some Rocky Helmet shit, which is fantastic. So now, what are they going to go into to take on my Great Tusk? Because Leafeon doesn't really want to... Do it's not going to do much damage to us with Solar Blade or Leaf Blade if it has Leaf Blade instead, especially. And Fully Purba comes in. Is that going to be the Leafeon? Interesting. So they did go into Leafeon. Um, this thing's going to sell Pistols Dance all over my face. So I'm going to go for a knockoff here. Um, they do, in fact, Terrestrialize. What type are they going to Terrestrialize into, though? Grass? For the extra grass power against my Great Tusk with a Solar Blade? Grass, yeah. They're going all out on the attack. Leafeon's looking pretty good right now for their team. Let's see how this plays out, shall we? So they go for a Solar Blade, which is going to be absorbing the power of the sun to strike us down with a big blade of light. But you know what? I think Great Tusk can take one. I think it can anyway. Boom. Yeah, we live in that. And get some Rocky Helmet Chip as well. Then we knock off their item, whatever it may be. Get a bit of chip damage as well. Muscle band. They're just going all out on the attack with this thing. So, uh, Great Tusk, Great Tusk, Great Tusk. Um, if that's the case, that's the way they want to go. I say we go Arbok now. I say we go Arbok now. Get that Intimidate off. 
I think that's going to be really clutch. So we'll go Arbok. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Get the Intimidate off, which is great. They go for a Solar Blade, which isn't going to do too much damage to us. There we go. Solar Blade's charging up. And let's see how much damage this does to our Arbok. We should be in the clear, though, right? It does half? It does half? Gonna withdraw Arbok. I think this is probably the best player can do. Um, we'll go into Great Tusk and sack it off for a start. That's what we'll do. We'll Protoss Simpsons in defense. So we, we're still not going to take this next Solar Blade, but we'll get some Rocky Helmet chip. As they go for a Solar Blade right now, absorbing the light. And then what we can do is hopefully, I think the sun wears off this turn. I could be wrong. But um, if the sun wears off, we can bring Arbok back in, but I don't think it does. Either way, I'm bringing Arbok back and get a sick and intimidate off. That's pretty much what I've got to do against this Leafeon. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into Arbok now. Arbok can come in and sort this guy out. There we go. Get the Intimidate off. Them yellow eyes. There we go. Right, so. The Sunlight is still up. Do I Terra Dragon Scale Shot right now? Or do I Coil first? I'm going to risk it for a Biscuit. I'm going to go for a Coil. They do withdraw. Not confident that the Solar Blade will KO, obviously. And they're going to go back into Sunpex, which is the Swampert. So that's awesome. We get a Coil off, which is fantastic. They are burned, so we don't have to worry about that too much. We get a nice accuracy attack and defense boost, which is fantastic. And the harsh sunlight does fade, which is even better. So uh, now what I'm leaning towards is I want to go for a scale shot. I really do. And um, they are burned, so the damage output is going to be lowered. I'm pretty sure we live in Earthquake with a Terra Dragon form. Uh, so I'm pretty confident going for this. So I'm going to go for a scale shot in Dragon form and hope for the best right now. So there we go. We're going to terrestrialize into a dragon type. Sprout those wings across our hood. Like so. There we go. See, the, the thumbnail wasn't clickbait. Anyway, Terra Dragon Arbok is here. Let's go for a scale shot and it should KO. No, it won't KO actually, I don't think. If we hit all five times, we might have a good chance. Nah, no we don't. But they're burned, so I'm pretty confident we can take a hit even after the defense drop. Pretty confident. There's the fourth. Hit four times. That's not too bad. Though. So it's if we can KO with the next one, we're going to be golden. Stealth Rocks. Oh, this is perfect. They were not... See, this is the thing. No one ever expects Arbok to be doing the things it does. That's for sure. They obviously thought I would switch Arbok out there. But that is not the case. That is not the case. As um, the burn is going to take it back down to a... Range where we can KO it with another scale shot. We get a plus two speed boost. We are looking pretty right now. Scale shot comes through. Obviously, it's not going to miss because we have got a coil up, um, which takes it over 100% accuracy. So we got one. We got two. And that means three and four will KO, which is fantastic. It gives us a nice extra speed boost. So if they bring nine tails in to get the sun up, even after that, Leafeon will not survive. It won't be able to do its thing. So we're looking all right, to be fair. Our rock looks like it could sweep through this team. We've got a plus two speed, minus two defense. Well, actually, no, minus one defense because we have the coil up, didn't we? Right, Vulture comes in. That's going to be the Galvantula. Now, they have already tarried, so I don't have to worry too much about them changing types on me. So I am going to go for a scale shot here because there's no reason not to go for a scale shot. Boom. Because like it, as it, it was a crit, but it's fine. It was still going to 4 KO them anyway. As down goes the Galvantula, which is fantastic. Now, we outspeed everything on their team, pretty much. Boom. Vulture goes down. Defenses raise. Lower and speed raises, which is awesome. So, we're looking pretty good right now. Hopefully, we don't see a forfeit. That'd be unfortunate, but let's see how this goes. So, Vulnona comes in. That's going to be the Nine Tails. Drought comes through. We go for another scale shot here every single time. Scale shot comes through. Let's see if this KOs the Nine Tails or not. Oh, if we hit five times, it might. It might just hit do it if we hit five times. Four times. That's unfortunate. And um, it does lower our defenses, but luckily Nine Tails is a special attacker, and it is we are a dragon type. So, um, they go for a nasty plot over oh, last ditch effort. <laughs> but unfortunately for them, that's not going to work as um, Gunk Shots is also fully accurate right now. Um, but I'm just going to go for... I'm just going to change your moves a bit. I'm going to go for an Earthquake. Why not? 
As Earthquake takes out the Ninetales in one clean here, which is great. So there we go. Ninetales goes down. Ninetales goes down. I'm pretty confident the Scale Shot five times does more damage than Earthquake does. That's why I went for Scale Shot instead of Earthquake in the first place. So Torn Up Toe comes in. Is that going to be the uh, Hisuian Typhlosion? Yeah, it is. Frisks us to find our loaded dice. Pretty confident this thing will go down to a Scale Shot. So that's what I'm going to do. Scale Shot comes through. Boosted by Terra Dragon. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, yeah. If we hit five times. If we hit five times, that's going down. We haven't hit five times yet this game. Let's see if we can do it this time. We did. We hit five times. Typhlosion goes down. Absolutely amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff. So, hit five times. Wonderful. Arbok is putting in the work right now. And, I, his, I, you know, I like, when I brought it in and this Leafeon did half health, I lost all hope. I thought this was going to be a dud battle. But Arbok's actually came back and just annihilated them. <laughs> There's the Leafeon. Now we go for a gunk shot. It's over 100% accurate so, because of the coil. So, we can safely go for this. Are they forfeited? Nice. Nice. Arbok causes them to forfeit. What a legend. GG. Okay, Chucho has brought a pretty strong looking team with the Haxorus, the Galarian Zapdos standing out. Never underestimate Confei. With Calm Minds Draining Kiss, this could be really problematic for us. But we do have the Magnazone and the Heatran for that, so it's not the end of the world. Um, I say they probably lead Glimora. So is it better to just lead Magnazone straight away? I reckon Magnazone is a good switch lead. I think Magnazone is a very good lead, to be honest with you. And if they leave with Rotom for whatever reason, we'll just switch into Heatran. No, no big deal. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Chucho. So they're going to lead off with Orange 2 the Zapdos, as I led off with my Magnazone. So this is obviously a bad matchup for us. Um, I didn't think they'd leave with Zapdos, thought they'd leave with Glim, um, to be honest with you. But they're going to smack us in the face with a big close combat, and close combat does a lot to our team, to be fair, looking at it. Um, we can't even go into Arbok because Intimidate will activate its Defiant. Um, it's fine though. We'll go into Great Tusk. Great Tusk can definitely take a close combat, that's for sure. Um, and they probably go for a U-turn anyway, expecting us to switch into the Great Tusk. If they go for a Brave Bird, it's too risky first turn because Magnazone could easily go for a Thunderbolt. So I don't think they'll go for a Brave Bird here, but if they do, they do. They go for a Thunderous Kick, which is going to sting a little bit. Not too much though, as it does about a quarter of our HP. It does lower our defense though. That's going to be really important. So lowering our defense is going to be very important. So. Do I go for a knockoff? They're probably going to switch out, right? Do I go for a Stealth Rock or a knockoff? Let's go for a Stealth Rock. I don't think they'll... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure they're choice. They're usually choice. Probably Scarf. And they're going to go into Kira Kira, which is going to be the Glimora. Nicely done. So Stealth Rock comes in. And that's going to be up on their side of the field until they go for a Mortal Spin, which they could do at any point, to be fair. So I'm going to go back into Magnezone. I think Magnezone is the best way to block a Mortal Spin, that's for sure. But also because they're likely going to go for their own Stealth Rocks. Now, they know we've got two Steel types to switch in. So, they may go for an Earth Power, which would be ideal. So, we withdraw our Great Tusk to use it another day. And uh, we go into Magnazone, which is great. Now, they do have a Ground Type in Gliscor. So, we can't just go for a Volt Switch. We should go for a Flash Cannon, really. And um, let's see what they do, though. They go for an Energy Ball, which is going to get rid of our Air Balloon. Now, the real question is, do they have Earth Power if they have Energy Ball? Because they likely have a Stab Move plus Energy Ball. Plus Mortal Spin, maybe Stealth Rocks. Um, I don't want to risk it too much, so I'm gonna I'm gonna scout for the um, Earth Power. So I'm gonna go into Moltres now. Um, I think Moltres good because they might switch out into Gliscor here as well, which would be un unideal. So let's go into um, Mol Moltres real quick. Um, so we withdrawn first, telling me they didn't switch out themselves. So they probably did go for an Earth Power. So let's go into Forks now. The um, Moltres Galar. Earth Power, right? Brilliant. I was just scouting out to see if they had it. Which they obviously do, so it's a good job I didn't keep Magnazone in then. Now, I get to hit something with a Fiery Wrath, which is going to be really useful. Um, uh, yeah, Fiery Wrath's a great move here. So we go for a Fiery Wrath, and this is where we find out whether they have um, Power Gem or not. So they go for a Mortal Spin, which gets rid of the Stealth Rocks, but we can set them back up again, it's no problem. Um, they do poison us, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, I don't think they have Power Gem. I think they have Stealth Rocks or something along those lines. So I'm going to go for another Fiery Wrath here. I don't think Moltres is the key to winning this game. So I'm going to go for a Fiery Wrath. They do withdraw the, the uh, Glimora. That's fine. Uh, what are they going to go into though? They go into Orange 2 which is of course the Zapdos. Good switch because it can take any hit that we can throw at it really except from Hurricane. So uh, Fiery Wrath comes through. It does a nice little bit of chip damage. Nothing too drastic. 
nothing too drastic. And then I'm kind of tempted to go for a hurricane. I know we can take a close combat or a brave bird. Is it worth it to get rid of the Zapdos? I'm going to go for it. I think it's worth it. They go for a brave bird, which should, we should live one. Never mind, we don't. They must be banded then. But Moltres has got some recoil damage on it, which is going to be useful. Because um, we want to whittle down this Zapdos little by little if we can do. Uh, now I'm going to go Magnezone. And um, just because I want to go for that Flash Cannon. Flash Cannon hurts everything on the team super hard. So we'll go for a Flash Cannon here. They probably go Glide Score, if anything. So I want to go for that, fla that, that Flash Cannon. They do withdraw, proving they are definitely choiced. Otherwise, they just CC there. And they're going to go into Cake Maker, which is the Rotom. That's a good switch. So um, we go for a Flash Cannon. That's going to sting a little bit on the Rotom. Nothing too drastic. Um, and then we're just going to have to switch out to Heatran. Heatran is probably the best option for this thing. So we withdraw our, our Magnezone. And we're going to go into our nice and powerful Heatran, which is great. They go for a nasty plot. Ooh, that's going to be problematic that will be problematic so right okay so first things first we want to taunt this thing right no because there's no point um we need to get something faster in um i'd say we flash cannon here just to get the to potentially get the special defense drop they actually vault switch which does nearly half um so we get a free flash cannon off on something that's not roton which is nice because that's going to sting anything on the team really okay kira kira comes in which one's that again i can't remember glimora you're going to get hit by a Flash Cannon. So that's going to go down to a Flash Cannon probably. Yep. Glimora goes down, which is great. No hazards. No toxic spikes. We did get a crit, but I don't think the crit matters because we are max special attack, I believe, on this Heatran. Our NGO2 comes in. So this thing's going to smack us in the face of a close combat, right? So our best bet is going to be Great Tusk. I have a feeling they go for a Brave Bird predicting the Great Tusk. Because if they've got Thunderous Kick, they might not have close combat. I might just stay in a lava plume. It's ballsy. But I'm going to do it anyway. They withdraw. They made the double. Okay, so they expected us to switch out. And they're going to go Pandemonium, which is going to be what? Glide score. We went for lava plume. This could be big. This could be big if we burn. Over half. No burn. That's unfortunate. No burn. Which means they do get their toxic heal back. There we go. They get the toxic heal, which is unfortunate. So uh, with toxic heal on the field... This thing's going to be tough to take down. That Lava Plume did a lot of damage, though. I'm not going to lie. Did a lot of damage. Um, now, we can probably go into... If we assume they're going to go for an Earthquake, we should go into our Great Tusk. So, I'm going to go into Great Tusk now. If they go for a Toxic predicting that, then so be it. But whew, I'm glad we made the right play there. So, we withdraw Heatran. And we're going to go into our great and powerful Great Tusk. Or Tuscany over here. And what we'll do is... We'll just... We'll, we'll, they go for a Swords Dance. Ooh, it's a Swords Dance in Gliscor. That's scary. They get the poison heal, which is unfortunate. Um, this thing's going to set up Swords Dance all over us, but they're probably expecting an ice type move, to be fair. So I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock, just seeing if they Terra Water, which it looks like they are doing. So Terra Water is probably what's going to be happening here. Because they're expecting an ice spinner, by the way, we brought it in. The Terra Normal with Facade? Ooh, I love that. That's awesome. That is awesome. So they go for a facade, which is going to sting a little bit. Nothing too drastic, I don't think. It won't KO us, I don't think. Yeah, it won't KO us. And so we get some Rocky Helmet chip, and then we just get our last ditch effort Stealth Rocks up, because Stealth Rocks are going to be really useful for that Rotom and the uh, Galarian Zapdos, especially if it's choice. I mean, it's going to limit how much they can switch it in, you know? But what we can do against this thing now is um, nothing, because they outspeed us, but if we assume they're going to go for that again, um... I think we have to let Great Tusk go down here and go for an Earthquake. They go for their own Earthquake, which is going to take us out, unfortunately, because no Rocky Helmet chip, which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now. Now. Poison Heal is going to come through and heal them back to full, half health. Um, I think our best bet is this guy. Yeah, I think Ogre Pond's the best bet. So let's go Ogre Pond now. We do have the Sturdy Intact. So I might go for a Swords Dance. I think I go for a Swords Dance here with Ogre Pond. I think that's the way to go. So we go for a Swords Dance, which is fantastic. Going to boost our attack to sky high levels. So they go for an EQ, which is going to take us down to our Sturdy probably. Yeah, it does. That's fine. We've got the Sturdy there. We're not too worried about this. They get the Poison Heal. That's fine. Pretty confident that an Ivy Cudgel will take them out here. So 
So I'm going to go for the Ivy Cudgel. I'm pretty confident it'll take him out. So they do withdraw. What are they going to go to do to take an Ivy Cudgel? Sampagueta. That's the Comfe. Stones do dig in. A plus two Ivy Cudgel is going to sting quite a bit, though. Bop. Down it goes. So Comfe was no problem for Ogapon. Now, we know the Rotom's uh, not Choice Scarf, so that's great. The Gliscor goes down. The Haxorus, unless he's got first impression. Oh, no, Nocus comes in. All right, we've got a fear. We've got a fear that they have first impression here, but they could go for a DD. They could go for a DD. I think it's more likely to go for a first impression, but they could go for a DD. So I'm going to go into Arbok. Um, just get the Intimidate off. I think Arbok is a decent one here for the Intimidate. So we're going to Cubelios. There we go. Nice and shiny. Look at that beauty. Uh, we get the Intimidate off, which is fantastic. They go for a first impression, which is going to bounce right off us. And uh, now we might be able to go for a... I think we Terra Dragon Coil. Or we Terra, ter terra Dragon Scale Shot, at least. Going to go ahead and Terra Dragon Scale Shot. They do withdraw. And the reason I've gone for the Scale Shot first is talking about speed. They go into Cake Maker, which is the Rotom. Get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is fantastic. And then we're going to Terrestrialize into a Dragon type, sprouting those wings of freedom. So there we go. The Crystallization of Arbok is going to reveal that we are a Dragon type with wings. Hence the thumbnails. <laughs> now let's see what they do. Um, we go for a Scale Shot. It's going to be boosted by Terror. It's definitely going to do a lot of damage to this Rotom if it's a Nasty Plot set. Um, not really a lot, a lot of damage, but it's still damage nonetheless. Damage nonetheless. Oh, we got a crit on one of them, which is nice. If we can hit all five times, we, can, we KO. We hit four times, though, which is unfortunate, as uh, our speed and defense is going to lower. Um, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. So what we can do here is we can go for another scale shot if we want to. Uh, just to give us that extra speed if, if the Glorian Zapdos is scarfed. So let's go for a scale shot once again. Boosted by Terra. Arbok's going to KO, ladies and gentlemen. we got to love it. Got to love it. So there we go. Down goes the Rotom, and our defenses are going to go down with it. To the point now where I think Haxorus' first impression will KO. But I could be wrong. Ononokus comes in, which is the Haxorus. They're, they're definitely going to try and first impression us here. Um, and it will KO us because it's neutral now. And we're minus in defense. So I think with best bet is probably going to be Magnezone. So I'm going to go into Magnezone now. So we withdraw, withdraw Cubelios, the Arbok. And we're going to go into our Magnezone to take a first impression to the face. They go for a Dragon Ant, so they're not banded. Interesting. So they go for the Dragon Ants. They are not banded at all. And uh, we go. We have to go for a flash cannon here, just to see if, they, just to make sure they don't. They dragon claw predicting the Arbok switch, which makes sense. But we go for a flash cannon, and that's going to take out the uh, Haxorus. Oh, it's not one HP. It is on one HP. Let's go for a flash cannon again. They go for another dragon claw. They must not have earthquake. Dragon claw is probably their best option. So they lose some HP, which is going to knock them out. So Haxorus is down. That's brilliant. So they, they must not have EQ. They must have Dragon Claw Fly first impression. Dragon Ants. And then whatever the last move could be. Crunch? I don't know. Pandemonium is going to come in there. That's going to be the Goliath score. Now, again, we can't risk this thing going for a Swords Dance. So I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt here. Swords Dance comes through. They, they had to try it. It was the only way they were going to pull this back. They had to try it. So we go for a Thunderbolt now. That takes out the Gliscor. Magnezone coming through like an absolute legend. Like an absolute legend. There was no reason for me to let Magnezone keep living there, to be fair. I would have gone for an Earthquake or a Scale Shot if they had it. Um, which I don't think they did. Because they were Terra Normal. So, RNG02 comes in. It's going to get some Stealth Rock Chip. Now, this thing can take us out of a Thunderous Kick, that's for sure. So, let's go for a Thunderball just in case. They do go for a Thunderous Kick, though. Which is going to take Magnezone out. But Magnezone did so good this game. It took out, like... Two or three Pokemon. I think it was just two. Um, so, Thunderous Kick. As that loses is here. Uh, this is bad, though. Because Intimidate is going to activate the Defiant. And Arbok ain't very bulky. Heatran doesn't have a chance of living. We have to bank on them not being Choice Scarf. And them being... Uh, we have to bank on them not being Choice Scarf, pretty much. So, I'm going to go for an Ivy Cudgel, just in case. 
They are true scarf, which is good to know. Very good to know. As that's going to take out my uh, Ogre Pond. So now we know the Zapdos could finish us off here. But let's go Heatran anyway, just to see if it can. Live it here from a choice scarf Zapdos. Thunderous Kick ain't the strongest move in the world. Let's go for a Lava Plume. Thunderous Kick comes through. We don't live, unfortunately. Which means it all comes down to Arbok. Right, Arbok, come on in. You've got <laughs> Intimidate, which is really going to not benefit us right now. It's going to give them a Defiant Boost. But you know what? It is what it is at the end of the day. Let's go for a... Let's go for a Scale Shot just to see if we can. There you go for a Thunderous Kick. They were plus one. It's definitely going to KO us. And imagine, yep, Arbok goes down. That's going to be the game. So GG Chucho, it's been a while since we battled. I'm um, very, 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 very proud of your Zapdos. <laughs> Zapdos made an epic comeback there. Well, that was brilliant. Awesome. So Zapdos, GG. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.